Well, today, life's events are not always ideal and perfect, but we have a special guest on today, Denise Allen, who is one of our really precious, amazing published authors, and she is publishing her new book called Pathways to Peace, and check out this subtitle, Pathways to Peace. Are you checking this out? It, when life gets messy. Does my life ever feel messy for you? So we're going to be talking about your mess, my mess, Denise's mess, and how her book will help you get to Pathways to Peace. So we're excited to have Denise Allen. Everybody give a round of applause. Denise will be with us here in about five, six, seven, eight minutes. And uh, you can ask questions about Denise's Pathway to Peace and her new upcoming book. But first, we have our even more special guest. And I say more special because she's standing right here next to me, a.k.a. Teresa Yancey, bringing us some devotions from the Fearless Living Series. And we want to invite you, if you would like to join us on this free journey to Fearless Living, through the month of July, you can go to the Messenger Life. Dot com. Join our free Facebook group. Our free Facebook group is a group of writers and authors. Uh, writer, some writers are published, some are not published, but they're on this journey. And we're all going through this process and discovering what God says about fear. So let's get to our devotions as Teresa Yancey comes. Here we go. <music> There she is. <laughs> See, she, this is like it's like magic, right? There's like <laughs> magic, not it, but the Christian kind of magic, oh. right? Not the because we don't we don't like that non-Christian magic. <laughs> okay, wait. I'm sorry. Miracles. Sorry. Yes, okay. I'm just. I'm being. I don't believe in magic. Magic's magic's totally demonic. But miracles are Jesus, and we're all about <laughs> Jesus in this place, and we're having fun with the Fearless Living series that we're doing, uh, our, our whole team yes, uh, through Unlocking Your Book and Messenger yes. Books, writers, helping writers, giving step-by-step -step guidance to help you unlock, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> unlock your book and step-by-step -step guidance to getting published. So part of the, the focus for July is Fearless Living, fearless Living Fearlessly. Living. Yes. And good. so it does sound good, right? Like, <laughs> like what if our default was, oh, not anxiety, not fear, not worry. When you know you wake up, your default's not like, oh my gosh. It's like, yeah, come <laughs> on. Because our default is not fear, but our default is faith. But you're bringing a word, bringing a word. to us today. So bring us a word, uh, Sister Teresa. <laughs> Sister. Yeah. Isn't, it, isn't it mother? Oh, that would wow. Be, yeah, I don't. <laughs> I felt that. <laughs> yeah. Um, you're not my mom. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to talk for just a few minutes about trust. Trust is a key to fearless living. Um, you know, this week, one of our kiddos got their driver's license. Oh, dear Lord yes. Jesus. <laughs> and I can't give the whole scoop, but I will say it was her second attempt. And I'll just leave it right there. <laughs> it took two tries. <laughs> you, you had to start with this. I'm all fearless living. Yay. And you you go right. I mean, like I have trauma, you know, like, okay, go ahead. So this particular verse that we're going to look at actually uh, in my mind's eye. So I don't know, you know, what goes on your, in your imagination when you hear this verse, but in my mind's eye, I picture behind the wheel of a car on that happy road trip of life. And Jesus is there and hopefully he has the wheel and you're just having a blast. Your wind is, your hair is blowing in the wind. Your wind's blowing in the hair. <laughs> the blast is blowing in the air. I just heard Jesus take the wheel. Okay. Um, anyway. Okay. So that's the picture that's in my mind. But, um, and also I'm picturing the funny gifts, gifs. Is it gifts or gifs? It's gifs, Teresa, Sorry, sister GIFs. Teresa, mother Teresa. Um, that, it's, you know, we were sending to our daughter when she was going to take her driver's test, you know, just about miracles, <laughs> trusting the miracles. Lord. <laughs> all right. So all that build up for this beautiful verse. This is Psalm 37, 5. Give God the right 
to direct your life. Mm. And as you trust him along the way, you'll find he pulled it off perfectly. Bam. <laughs> That's a good gif. All right. So give God the right. It's kind of seems contradictory. God is God. Why do we have to give him the rights? Mm -hmm. Doesn't he own it all? Mm -hmm. And yet he wants us to give up our rights because he can do anything, but there are some things he will not do. One of those things he will not do is override our personal will. Jesus take the will. Yes. See, I, Actually, you stole my thunder. I was going to say Ooh. that. <laughs> Sorry, Sister Teresa. <laughs> Yes, he won't override our will. He wants our surrender. He wants our yes. Mm -hmm. It's actually an act of devotion that he wants from our hearts. Mm -hmm. And we have to let go. We have to give God the rights to us. Wow. I have to pass, pass it off. And we give him the rights to direct our life. So just that phrase, giving God the right to direct your life, mm -hmm. brings to to your mind, the picture of a journey, right? You're going somewhere and we don't want to be the ones directing it, do we? <laughs> we want God to be the one taking us on that journey of life because we want to end up where he wants us yeah. to end up, right? Come on. As you trust him along the way. So there's the journey wording again, along the way. And so we're to trust him all along the way. Well, we run into some things along the way, don't we? Mm -hmm. There is some road construction on the path of life. <laughs> right. There are some, sometimes some mishaps, a little bitty, a uh, little bit of fender benders Squirrel here and there. distractions. Squirrels. Yep, squirrels. <laughs> Detours. Yep. Right. Bumps, potholes. You know, sometimes there's even wrecks on the road of life and Pops. God. State <laughs> troopers. State troopers. <laughs> there's sometimes real uh, mishaps on the road of life yeah. and they're devastating. And yeah. um, we can trust God with those situations that seem yeah. like, uh, where is God in this? Yeah. How did I end up here? Or we feel like, you know what? I'm where I am right now in this wreck in my life because of the bad choices that I made, God is not obligated to help me out of this. And yet Come he on. does. Come on. Yet he is there. He never leaves us. And he's just Miracles. waiting. <laughs> he's just Miracles. waiting for us to call out to him. And he's, he comes to the rescue. He's so good. We can trust him. He's always with do you, us. Do you want me to sing right now? Maybe later. Okay. okay, Maybe okay later. Sure. <laughs> All right. This is what the Bible. Oh, I wanted to make this point. This is something that Dr. Simmons says, which I love and I believe is true, that trust is God's love language. You know, every mm -hmm. morning, Jeremiah, he oh, actually every night, uh, he sets the coffee timer. And uh, so that when I get up in the morning, there's coffee made and I don't have to make it. Yes. And, you know, it's my love language. That little act of service says, I love you, Teresa. From, from my husband is very sweet. God's love language, the so thing wait, that touches what? his heart. They didn't hear that. What was that? <laughs> they, need, they need to hear it again. Yes. Oh. Uh, kudos. Okay. So uh, our how we really bless the Lord is when we display our trust in him, when we show him that we are confident that he is not going to fail us and let us down. That's his love language. Yeah. And when we, when we express that trust in him, we experience his pleasure. Listen to this verse. This is uh, Psalm 33, 21. It says, as we trust, we rejoice with an uncontained joy overflowing from Yahweh. We get to experience his pleasure when we put our trust in him. He just loves it. All right. And then we'll find out, find, find out in the end that he pulled it all off perfectly. Yeah. Wow. That means we don't know. Uh, we don't get the roadmap from the beginning of the... <laughs> We don't get the roadmap at the beginning of the journey, but we do know the way. Jesus is the way. And we're going to end up right where he wants us. I love what Job said. You know, Job, he had some, he had a few train wrecks, a few bumps in the road. Squirrels. That's putting it mildly. Yeah. And Job said this, for I know that my Redeemer and Vindicator lives. Mm -hmm. And at the last, in the end, he will take his stand on the earth. Even after my mortal skin is destroyed by death, yet from my immortal flesh, I will see God. We will see God. Mm, girl. In the end, we're going to see God. In Come. the end, we're going to see he worked it all out perfectly. So Come why not on. trust him now? Why not? Why not trust preach him Preach that. Sister, <laughs> preach that. Hallelujah. Come on. Why not? Ah, where's my white hanky when I need it? This is flat out some good stuff. Are you are you done? Because this is just getting good. 
I'm doing. So miracles, <laughs> right? So we, so I mean, really, this really ties into our special mm -hmm. guest, published author Denise Allen, who's mm -hmm. coming on here in just a few minutes. Yes. Pathways to peace. You know, uh, when when life gets messy. Life gets messy on this road, on the pathway, but God still does miracles. He still does gifs, right? <laughs> gifs. Jesus, take the wheel. I know all of you guys are just, you're on pins and needles waiting for me to sing, but we don't have time today. We need to get to our special guest, what was that? Special guest, Denise Allen. We're so excited to hear about her book. How excited are you to hear from Denise Allen? So let's go to our very special co-host, Dr. Christy Nelson. Here we go. Everybody give a round of applause. Rock and roll. <laughs> Shabba Bob, whoa, wrong book. Shabba Baba, hello. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> Hi, Christy Nelson. Hey, That's the word Mr. of the Lord Mr. today. Mr. Shabba Baba, everybody, come on. <laughs> yes, Mr. and Mrs. Christy, when you say it, makes it sound like we're so old, Mr. and Mrs. Like, oh, I'm sorry. Maybe, maybe, could you say Reverend? Could you say Reverend? Or <laughs> Reverend and Mrs. Holy Potentate. Mo Potentate's fine. <laughs> yes. Mr. <laughs> Mrs. Sounds, I'm like, come on. I'm so well, going to unfriend you if you call me Mr. Well. Yancey. <laughs> okay. Oh, man. Well, how are you, oh, Dr. Nelson? Man. You have a big week. You have a great, you have a miraculous week. And we do have our special guest, Denise Allen. But can we just take a couple of minutes? A couple of minutes. Uh, you have a special week this week because you are launching your newest, latest book as well, Slaying the Giant of Fear. And it's like, there's a whole, there's an, in, there's a lot of enchiladas in that package. You've got the book, you've got uh, the video course, you've got mentoring, you've got all of this whole thing with Slaying the Giant of Fear. And it launches, uh, the pre-order is live tomorrow at 1230 Central. And you all that are watching now, you should tell everyone you know to join us for the Two, count it, two, our live stream of event. Teresa and I will be hosting that. Uh, Chrissy Nelson, we're just, we're going to pick her brain for two <laughs> solid hours, how to slay the giant of fear, because she gives three, count them three, gives three key strategies on how to do that. So we're excited for you. Are you excited? We're excited. I'm excited. I'm undone. I'm overwhelmed. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just at peace. It's, yeah. For such a time as this, and you can just feel that. I feel honored, honestly. It's like, who who am I to have a message on fear that's like mm -hmm. such an important topic right now? It's honestly kind of how I feel. It's very sobering, very yeah. humbling. Um, but I mean, I know the price that I paid. I know the the fight that I fought to write the book. And I look back and I go, ah, okay, Lord. Yeah. You know, it was for now. It was for this season. And no wonder... Yeah. The enemy tried to bring fear my way while I was writing about fear, you know? So. And you're like, here we go. You're like, can't touch yeah. this. Can't touch this. Uh -uh, oh uh -uh. Yeah. yeah. Oh man. It's exciting. You get yourself in that bubble with the Lord where mm. it, no weapon formed against you can prosper and you just keep going and you don't stop and you don't quit. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, that's where we're called to. That's the yep. place we're called to live in yeah. that impenetrable force shield of God's presence mm -hmm. around us. And that's how we slay the giant of fear. God does it. <laughs> he yeah. actually yeah. just does it. <laughs> yeah. God does the slaying. We do the dancing. Yeah, that's right. We just dance right inside our Jesus bubble and he takes care of our opposer. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, and clearly I need to write a book and teach people how to dance because I see y'all try clearly. try to do it, and I'm like, you know, what what's this? You know, yeah, I like it. Keeping it safe. Keeping we stay it safe. right here. Yeah, keeping it safe. Well, hey, let's let's move right into uh, the special guest we've been talking about all afternoon, uh, Denise Allen. Now, Denise mm -hmm. started with our unlocking your book course. 
and she has moved right into publishing. She's done with editing. She's in the formatting process. She's kind of at the, the tail end of things in her brand new book, which is a series, the window box series. And we're going to, we're going to just drill her here in a little bit. <laughs> uh, the window box series is a, a series of books and she's starting with the path way to peace. And so we're going to have her come on. So everybody share this, call your grandma. Let's do this rock and roll. Oh, hallelujah. There she is in the flesh for real. Denise Allen, how are you? Hey guys, I'm great. How are you? We're just dancing. We're having miracles over here on this side. How about you? <laughs> miracles are good. Dancing is good too. Yes. <laughs> and for some, I'm ready to dance. My book is almost out there and I'm ready to dance. And awesome. yeah. That's good. <laughs> and we're good. we're excited for you. And so come on, this 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 moment right now, this is all about you, Denise. This isn't about the show. This is about what we're doing or the publishing or this is about you. And we really want you to just take some time and tell people, how did you come up with this book, Pathway to Peace? And then tell us a little bit about the Window Box series. What's what's that all about? Okay. Um, how I came about my book. I've been doing a page on Facebook, Denise's Window Box page, and I've been wanting to do a book for quite a while. And on my page, um, it started in 2012, and it was a page to reach out to the world. And I have people from all over the world on this page, which is really cool. I call them my pen pals. Like when I was a little girl, I would write pen pals to different people all over the world. And uh, yeah, so the internet, put me in touch with these people. And basically it turned out to be a Facebook page inspiring everything from recipes to home decor, to hope, faith, and love. Mm -hmm. So um, I, I think it's really cool now that books are coming out about slaying the giant of fear, overcoming worry, getting untangled. These books are really cool. And I think it is for such a time as this. I. It's cool. God is so wonderful that he wants us to have peace. His design for us is to have peace. It's important to yeah. him. And it's great. Um, you know, the outside world, when things are working all together for good and you're financially stable, there's no broken relationships, um, good stuff's going on in your life, that helps with peace. But we can't look without. And that's what I've learned, you know, through the process of life. It's a matter of the heart. What's, what's going on in that heart of yours, especially when tough stuff's happening in your life. Um, and these are some of the tough things I talk about in my book. Mm -hmm. I also talk about good stuff and happy stuff, but I talk about a lot of the hard stuff that sometimes mm -hmm. we as people don't want to address. We as people in the church don't want to address. We as people in our life don't want to address. And when we don't address the matters of the heart, our heart kind of grows ugly and cold and hard, you know, hard. So yeah. for me, the pathway of peace, the process that the Lord has brought me on in this pathway of peace is dealing with the matters of the heart. What's going on in that heart, Denise? Woundedness, ugliness, unforgiveness. What's happening in there? And you know, I've learned, I speak about this in my book too, about betrayal, about the loss of my parents, uh, grief, you know, different different things in my book. I talk about letting go, moving on, changes. I talk about these things and I talk about, um, wow, those were hurting times. Yeah. But, and I talk about those hurting times. We have to, in order for our heart to be healed. So, um, yeah, so I talk about that and, to be willing to be willing, you know, is is the process. And once we're willing to be willing, it it opens up that heart a little bit for the Lord to come in. Mm -hmm. He sees we're trying. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to be like, okay, I forgive now. Okay, you know, mm -hmm. I'm over that betrayal because it doesn't happen by the snap of the fingers all the time. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. it's a pathway. And to get to the pathway of peace, we have to allow the Lord to come in. 
And when we're willing to be willing, it says that we're trying and God's grace is there to meet us. Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I'm learning through the process of life, you know, and we all of a sudden don't just learn, you know, Jesus talks about a peace and um, not a fleeting peace or a fragile peace, the real peace, the real authentic peace. peace are matters of the heart. They're yeah. matters of the heart. And that's been my pathway to peace. Wow. So in my book, it's I have 31 days. Um, you know, I, I did it as of 31 days, a story for each day. Mm -hmm. And in the story, I included photographs of my life that I've taken to help you relate to my story. And at the end of the story, I have a simple prayer because I realized, man, when I'm hurting, my prayers, mm. they're tears sometimes. Yeah, when on. I'm hurting, my prayers aren't these big extravagant prayers. They're like, whom am I in heaven but thee, oh Lord? You know, <laughs> right. prayers. So at the end of my stories, I have mm. simple prayers for the believer and the unbeliever. I, you know, my book and my window box, it's targeted a lot to women, but I want to open it up to the world. Don't we want to open our message up to the whole world? Right. So I have read so many devotionals and self-help books from men. And so many of these books I've read from men that have helped me in my life. So, yes, the, the book is targeted towards women, but I want to open it up to men. I want to open it up to teenagers. You know, if you're a guy, get it for your wife, get it for your daughter, get it for the women in your life. Yeah. So um, anyway, I'll continue on about my book. Yeah, it's 31 stories and I have my photograph in there, uh, photographs that I've taken and I have prayers at the end. And I've also included after each story is a journal. Um, can I continue on talking? And, yeah. Um, yeah, please. Yeah, I, want, I'm yeah. I, I don't want to be rambling on here, but no, and anyway, after each story, I have a journal. And I've journaled, oh gosh, you know, when you're growing up, you have those um, lock and key diaries. So I've journaled all my life from the diaries to journals in Bible school, to journals when I was pregnant, to journals, you know, through my whole life. And journaling really has been a key in my life to help me um, unwrap my mind, help me get this messy stuff out of my heart. Because when I write, it's, it's truth. I'm dealing with my heart. Yeah. And it's getting the truth out there. And a lot of times it exposes things that I didn't even know were there. So journaling has really helped me in my life. Mm -hmm. And so that's why I, you know, included a journal in the book for the person, the reader, to reflect on some of these stories. And perhaps they have these stories of betrayal and losses and grief in their own life. So they can write that out in their journal. And then I've... Um, included a prayer for them to pray their own prayer mm -hmm. you know because we our prayers each of our prayers we all have a beautiful story and we each have our own beautiful prayers to god so it gives the reader a chance for them to express themselves yeah. so um the pathway to peace is a learning process to me it's not uh you know an end all in itself the pathway to peace is a life process god's mm -hmm. always going to deal with our heart yeah. And life isn't always perfect. Life is messy, man. Especially right now, life is pretty messy. And we need these books on slaying the giant of fear. We need these books on getting untangled and, you know, help us, Lord, right now. So it's really cool. I think that such a time as this, these books are coming out. I, I think it's wonderful. So part, of your, so part of the pathway to peace in, in, in your book, when you're helping the reader reflect with God when life gets messy. That's the, the prayer, the journaling, the activation. That's You're helping them reflect on what has happened, what's going on, where God's taking you, and also what, what, God is, what God has said. So you do that with the reflection. You take them through this journal and this process. Yes, absolutely. Yes, to try to get that stuff out of the heart. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, and write it out and get it out. And I pray that... Um, this, my stories help navigate that for yeah. that individual, for that person. Yeah. One thing that I really like that Denise does is that in the journal section, she doesn't just say, okay, journal now about this, but she actually gives guided information mm -hmm. and guided questions and thought provoking um, uh, guidance in the journal. So it's, it really helps. 
people to unlock because not everybody just typically journals, you yeah. know. Um, yeah. But when you're asked those deep, um, those deep thought provoking questions, it helps you to actually dig deep in mm -hmm. the stuff that you've stuffed down, you know, yeah. and hidden away uh, that may not be pretty. And, you know, it forces you to get it out and take a look at it. And, you know, nobody's going to go behind you and read that journal, you know, right. it's between you and Jesus. Yeah. So it's very powerful. And it's in the book. The journal is in the book. It's not outside of it. It's all part of it. Mm -hmm. Right. After each chapter. Yep. Yep, and there are there are reflective and introspective questions to try to get the reader loosened up to mm -hmm. right. Yes, yeah, yep. mm -hmm. that's beautiful, Denise. So, what um, what would you say is one of the biggest problems that you're solving for mm -hmm. people with your book? Mm -hmm. Oh boy, I would hope to be to bring them a place of maybe disillusionment or. Uh, fear of feeling like I'm alone in this. No one, you know, I'm alone in this. To bring them to a place like you're not alone. You're not alone. And God has a peace for you. And uh, to bring them to a place of hope, hope. And, you know, really what I'm learning is that when I get that peace, when I deal with the things in my heart, when I deal with these real life issues, that when I have that peace, I get the courage. I get the hope. I get the strength to continue on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's yeah. Really and, and that's what I really want to convey in the book. And I believe that's what I have conveyed in the book, mm -hmm. that it will definitely bring the person, the reader to a place of peace and openness. And um, like, like I said earlier, you know, I, the willing to be willing, I have to give credit to um, a dear friend of mine when I was a teenager growing up in the church and struggling and she said to me, Denise, it's okay. If you're willing to be willing, God hears you. You don't have to be perfect. God hears you in this messiness of life. None of us are perfect. And if you're willing to be willing, God goes in that little place of your heart where you're willing to be willing. And he will deposit that peace. He will deposit that hope. He sees you're trying. And, and that's what I want to convey in my book. Hey, we're all in this together. We're all trying and we're all not perfect. And we yeah. all have messy spots in our life, messy places yeah. in our life that God wants to heal and that God wants to bring peace. You know, mm -hmm. God has designed us to where he wants us to have peace. He's the peacemaker. He yeah. wants us to have peace. He wants us to have peace. Now, mm -hmm. so, you know, I mean, life is gets messy for everybody. So nobody's exempt from life, but the opportunity for us is that we can have peace in the midst of the mess while God is fixing the mess. And perhaps even if the mess doesn't necessarily get fixed the way we quite think. Right. Now, okay. So I, I got to do this. I got to drill into this the window <laughs> box series. Okay. Yes. That's, that's cool. That's different. That's nifty. Um, so the pathways to peace reflecting with God when life gets messy is one of the series. So yes. talk to us a little bit about the window box series. What, why you came up with that and what's, you know, what's next. Okay. So now it's not pathways to peace. What's, what's coming. Well, it's kind of endless <laughs> because um, the series, you know, there's a series in life where we need hope. We need friendships. We need joy. We need all these things in life. And um, you know, I'm working on my next one and um, I'm not going to give the secret, let the cat out of the box yet, but I am working on it. I'm praying about it and I'm trusting God that it will be another such a time as this thing. Because yeah. when I was writing this book and these stories, to tell you the truth, I didn't a pathway to what? And I kept praying about a pathway to what? And then the Lord showed me, you know, in these stories, you're conveying a pathway to peace. In peace, we have hope, courage, joy, healing. And I said, you know, that's that's perfect, a pathway to peace. So I have more stories. We all have stories, right? Each of us has beautiful stories. Sometimes they're not so beautiful when they start out, but God wants to turn them into beautiful stories. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, you know, 
I'm really excited and I just have to give a shout out if it's okay to all my window box friends because some of them have been on this journey with me for a long time. We've shared world crises together. We've shared, you know, in the, since 2012, we've shared a lot of things together. And um, I just want to give a shout out to them. Thanks for being with me. And um, we're on this pathway to peace together, no matter how chaotic the world looks right now and ugly stuff going on. God is our peace and we have to seek him for that peace. Like I said, the outside stuff is good, but man, it's not always good. Yeah. And God is so cool that he wants us to have peace. Mm -hmm. yeah. And he's, you know. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, yeah. Now, Denise, I know that, you know, as, as a writer, you know, you, you put out there what you've learned through your experience with the Lord, but it in no way means, and a lot of people forget this, it in no way means that you've arrived, you've got it all figured out, like you're on the journey, you're, we're all on the journey, but it's so good to articulate it, you know, but, but your writing is an expression of your experience with the Lord and of your breakthroughs with the Lord and of those, those pain points that you hit as you, you know, have journeyed. And I would love if you would take like three minutes, if you can do it and just share one of your stories um, of that, you know, that pain point, what did that look like before yeah. the Lord helped you break through, you know, what was it like when Denise's life was messy and how did reflecting with God, oh, boy. one story, how did reflecting with God help you to find peace? Yeah. And you're on my video. So let's go. <laughs> okay. There's so many. I'm going through the file of my brain. Some of them I wrote and didn't put in the book. I just wasn't ready to release those. I do have one story and um, I'll, I'll try to share it very quickly. I had never been to a prison before. Okay. And our church group, a bunch of people were going to go to a prison and uh, my husband was going to do the music and several people were going to do the music and speak. And I just thought, okay, I can do this. But as the week continued on, I was like, okay, I can't do this. <laughs> I'm scared. I'm really scared. And I was going to afraid that I was going to have a panic attack or something, you know? So I kept, praying about it. And I really felt the Lord tapping me on the shoulder. No, you, you have to do this. This isn't about you. This is about them. It's about you. And the fact you have to come overcome this fear and realize that I will be your peace in this. And I will give you the strength to do this. So trust me. And I went back to a scene in my childhood where I would go in my neighbor's yard. And if I was feeling distraught about things at home or different situations. I would get on this swing as a little girl, maybe I was eight or nine and I would swing on this swing and I start singing the song, Jesus loves me, this I know. And I would sing it over and over. And that song would give me such comfort. And um, so the Lord, I felt the Lord tell me, you go sing this song to these mm -hmm. prison ladies. And I'm like, oh no, I can't do that. You know, <laughs> can't. it's too simple. It's childlike. It's not, intellectual enough it's not good enough it's not mm, powerful enough the lord was saying you go sing that song to them so i practiced singing this song with my husband's microphone in our basement <laughs> with no music or anything and i practiced and practiced yeah so we go to the prison and um we're going through the barriers you know this the steel doors the hollow walls down the hallway, the darkness, the coldness, you can just sense the awful atmosphere. And they're searching us, taking our license, our IDs, all this kind of stuff. We get in the auditorium and I see all these women in orange jumpsuits that look pretty hard, pretty mean, pretty scary. I wanted to turn around and run away because I'm like, God, couldn't you like give me some bold story. You want me to sing Jesus loves you? This I know? This childhood song? Well, okay. They did their music. A few people spoke. And the girls were just kind of antsy in their seat. Like, you know, they really didn't want to be there. They're looking pretty hard. I get up there and I said, I have a song for you girls to sing. It was pretty intimidating looking out at them. I'll tell you that. So 
I started singing my song and some of them started jackling, heckling, laughing, looking disinterested, you know, chewing their nails, you know, talking to their friend. And then I sang it again. Mm. And the tears started coming and they started listening to the song. And then, you know, I sang it again. And I said, all that matters is that Jesus loves you. He loves you right where you are, you, right where you are. He loves you. And it just the simplicity of that. I saw the power in the simplicity of that. And when I went back to sit down, instead of sitting off to the side by myself, this is how far God brought me with peace and strength and overcoming fear. I sat in the midst of those girls, right in between yeah. two girls with orange jumpsuits. And they started telling me their stories. They started telling me how they missed their husbands and their children and why they were there. And they were crying and we were praying together. So the power of overcoming fear, the power yeah. of doing what the Lord says, no matter how simple it is. Yeah. So, um, yeah, for me, that was, you know, a struggle of overcoming a fear, overcoming something I didn't think I could possibly do that God used for his good. Mm -hmm. A simple song from my childhood. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's so powerful. I love that, Denise. It's like, you know, when, when fear comes, it makes our mind all messy. And your mm -hmm. thoughts, they just get messy and they get all discombobulated. And then the Lord takes you by the hand and leads you into that simple place of his peace. And that's what he did. And that's what you carry. You carry that window box. It's such a beautiful picture of what you carry as an author, as a messenger. You carry that. Come on, take. I'm going to take you by the hand. And together we're going to walk with Jesus mm -hmm. into peace, into hope. You know, that whole series that you have. So keep on doing it. It's, <laughs> we're really blessed. Be Thank you. Yeah, well, I, you know, I realized too in that instance that I was so concerned about my fear and what I couldn't do. And, and once I yielded that to the Lord, he used it for his good to set other people free to help other people. And um, just, just a quick message I want to say when I started the window box, you talk about things in my life that were hard. When was a messy time? When I started that window box, I wasn't on top of a mountain like, oh, I'm going to start this Facebook page. This is so cool. No, I was in a very hard place, a very lonely place. And I was getting on the Internet watching, um, looking at different pages that were encouraging me. And once again, I felt the Lord speak to me. Do your own page. Mm -hmm. Start out with recipes, home decor, a scripture here, a Come scripture on. there. And I was like. I can't do that. I, I feel nothing in here. I got too many matters of the heart going on. And he said, no, you do that. And I pressed him on that oh, for a couple months. But when I would go to bed at night, that's what I would face. You know, do that page, do that page. So I started out very simply and it turned around and ended up ministering to me as I was giving out. Mm -hmm. It ended up coming to me in peace and love and joy and strength and courage. Mm -hmm. that's Isn't so that God? Mm -hmm. That's what God mm -hmm. wants to do, you know, in, in this chaos we're facing in the world. God said, hey, don't look to that. Give out what you have, no matter how little, no matter how small. Give out what you have. Mm -hmm. And make have peace. That's beautiful. And that's definitely one thing that you provided for us, Denise, with your book. It's like um, it's an impartation. You know, it's not just a book. It's not just information, but it's what God has put inside of you. And you, you know, the Lord prepares a table for us. Yeah. And how does he do that? A lot of times he does it through our brothers and sisters. So I see, you know, this book is like you preparing a table, mm, um, the good. Lord preparing a table through you for other people. And they can come and sit with you because I know um, as I've uh, read through your book, it's like uh, I feel like I get to know Denise. You know, it's like I I've visited that. your house. You know, I, I love that. I love get that. To, Thank you. Yes. And I feel like, you know, I get that personal interaction uh, with you. 
And it's just so really beautiful. Yeah. And, you know, anybody that's watching right now, you're seeing that just as uh, Denise is sharing with us from her book. And that's what you're going to get through her book as well. Um, what she has learned through her uh, path with the Lord of how she's come to peace. One thing I love that you say is peace is a gift that you give yourself. Mm. Mm -hmm. In your epilogue, you say peace is a gift that we can give ourselves. And that's so true because we have to make that choice, don't we? Yes. Yes. Every every day choice, sometimes every moment. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. So well, good. Well, it has been uh, a real thrill for us, Denise. We're, we're thankful uh, to be able to be one of the many people on this journey with you. Uh, it's been fun unlocking. It's been help. It's been fun, and it's continuing uh, to be fun as we help you get this book published. You're just at the tail end of this. The, the really, really hard work is oh, done. Yeah. Like the really, really hard work is done. So now it's cross and T's and dot and I's and this, that, and the other, and getting this thing to print. So it's exciting for you. And uh, now you have a, a Facebook page so people can find you on your Facebook page. Your website will probably be up in a week or two or something of that nature. So people just need to go. Now they can go to Facebook and type in uh, Denise's window box, correct? Yes. Okay. So go to Facebook and then just type in Denise's window box and you can follow her process and follow her journey. Uh, she, it was her book pre-orders and goes into print and all this, that, and the other. You can follow this process. So it's been a joy. Thank you, Denise, for being Thank on with you. us today. I uh, really you appreciate so you. Guys. Thanks for I being a gift. You guys. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Denise. God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. Bless you all. Bless you. Everybody, make sure you go find uh, Denise on Facebook, uh, uh, Denise's Window Box series, and you can uh, follow the process and you can see when her book's coming out. I know she's it's going to be late summer, early fall, something of that nature. Um, not exactly sure, but it's pretty close. It's really, really close. Woo yeah. Woohoo. It's miracle. And it feels <laughs> like a miracle. You know, when, when you're a writer mm -hmm. and then you transition from being a writer to a published author, it feels like a miracle. And maybe if you couldn't dance before, all of a sudden, a dance. You certainly know how to dance. I'm going to write that book. Some, you know, you know, so you think you can dance or maybe Pathways to Dancing. Oh, and I'll, I'll, I'll pitch it to Denise <laughs> and maybe she wants the window box series. Uh, you know, yeah, Pathways to Dancing. Uh, uh -oh. with Denise Allen and Jeremiah Yancey. I like it. I don't, I don't oh, know no. if I'm willing, but, uh, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so before we go, everybody, listen. Are you listening? Okay, tomorrow, <laughs> tomorrow, we're in a singing mood. Tomorrow, it's only a day away, at 12.30 p.m. Central, you can, you can go to Chrissy's page, the Messenger book page, my profile right here. We're going to be hosting a two-hour live event while Chrissy unpacks those three strategies, those the core strategies that the Lord has given her to slay the giant of fear. We do not have to dance with that giant. We can <laughs> cut that sucker's head off. In Jesus' name, sorry for the Christian custom. Right. I apologize. So that's tomorrow two-hour live event. Chrissy's going to be unpacking this. And then she'll talk about all the, the bonuses and the offers and how you can pre-order the book, Slaying the Giant of Fear, published by Chosen Books. We're super excited. Are you excited? I'm ready to do I'm, I, for one, am excited yes. over here. <laughs> I, for two, am excited. So, yeah, it's going to be fun. So, everybody sing tomorrow, tomorrow. Tomorrow.